throughout time, people across the world told each other tales of how they came to be, of heroes and monsters, romance and tragedy, death and rebirth. Mythology helped shape the ancient world, explaining the unexplainable. This is Mythology Unleashed. Devil's Tower, also known as Bear Lodge Butte, is a volcanic neck that rises 1,267 feet from the Black Hills in northeastern Wyoming, with its summit reaching 5,112 feet above sea level. Devil's Tower is noted for not only its grand size, but also its unique shape and distinct striations running vertically across its surface resembling claw marks. Truly an impressive feat of nature, and one not overlooked by the various indigenous people who have inhabited the area. This program will detail two of the most famous Native American tales surrounding the legendary Devil's Tower. Kiowa mythology tells of a prairie crossing that led the people deep into bear territory. When they had stopped to make camp, seven young girls found themselves far upstream, away from the others, frolicking among the berry bushes. It was not long before they had caught the attention of a gigantic grizzly bear the size of a hill. Perturbed by the trespass into his territory, and more than a little hungry, the bear pursued the girls, giving chase all across the plains. Eventually, the girls came to a massive stump, petrified into solid stone. The girls began to sing a prayer to the spirits that they may save them in their dark hour. The spirits answered, and the rock on which they stood began to extend high into the sky, and the rock continued to grow until the girls were out of the bear's reach. The hungry bear attempted to climb the steep rock, digging his claws deep into the surface of the rock, only to slide down each time, for grizzly bears are not the most proficient of climbers. The girls were safe from the bear, but now they were trapped high up on the butte with the hungry bear pacing below. The seven girls sang again, this time to the stars, who brought them up into the night sky, where they became known as the Seven Sisters, better known today as the Pleiades. In time the bear would pass on, but his claw marks remained embedded in the rock. And each night the Seven Sisters smiled down upon the formation that had saved their lives. According to the Lakota people, long, long ago, two young boys found themselves lost in the prairie. They had started off in the direction where they thought their village was, but only got farther and farther away from it. Finding their efforts fruitless, they curled up beneath a tree and went to sleep. They got up the next morning and continued to, on their journey, still headed in the wrong direction. On the fourth day of their journey, the boys suddenly had a feeling that they were being followed. They looked about, and in the distance, they saw Meto, the bear, a giant grizzly so huge that the two boys would be like berries to him. But that did not deter the hungry bear. He continued in his approach, and the earth trembled as he gathered speed. The boys started running, frantically searching for a place to hide. But there was no such place, and the grizzly was much faster than they were. They stumbled, and the bear was almost upon them. They could see his teeth flash in the sunlight and could smell his hot, evil breath. The boys called upon Wakantanka, the creator spirit, to save them from the hungry beast. 
All at once, the earth shook and began to rise, and the boys rose with it. Out of the earth came a tower of rock going up, up, until it was more than a thousand feet high. Mato the bear was disappointed to see his meal disappearing into the clouds, and scrambled up the side of the stone tower, trying to get the boys. As he did so, he made deep scratches on the sides of the towering rock, but the stone was too slippery. Mato could not get up. He tried every spot, every side. He scratched up the rock all around, but it was no use. The boys watched him wear himself out, until the giant grizzly at last gave up the pursuit and lumbered off disappearing over the horizon. Wombly the eagle came to the aid of the two boys and took them from the newly formed butte and back to their village. Mato the bear came to rest east of the Black Hills in what is now Bear Butte. These are but two of dozens of stories told by Native American peoples who have been in the presence of the monolith, now referred to as Devil's Tower. This volcanic neck, with its great size stretching towards the stars, unique shapes standing out along the horizon, and the myriad of claw-like grooves all along its surface, has been a sacred part of the age-old traditions of many indigenous cultures from time immemorial to this very day. Should you ever find yourself in the vicinity of this mighty stone tower, pause and take heed, for you stand upon sacred ground. But do be sure to keep an eye out for large bears. <laughs>